Right now, a suspect is dead after an officer involved shooting in Orlando. According to the just released arrest affidavit, a police officer shot and killed the man at the Palmas Altus Apartments on Pershing Avenue near State Road 436 because he refused to comply with police and surrender. Well, she's Amanda Ober reports. My brother doesn't. Play with guns is a lie. It's all a lie. They're lying. They're lying. Tracy Calhoun says she was yeah, playing she cards lying. with her brother moments before he was shot and killed by police. She claims her brother did not have a gun. But Orlando police tell a different story of the officer involved shooting. They say two undercover agents, Detective Amanda White and Detective Yong Hall, had gone to the Palmas Altus apartments just after 9 30 Wednesday night to follow up on an investigation. When the detectives arrived, they heard gunshots coming from from the edge of the parking lot. They took cover and then confronted two men who came walking towards them from the direction of the gunfire. As they were there, an unrelated event where they saw two people firing a firearm. They approached the, the two males and a confrontation took place. After the confrontation, one suspect was down and one was taken into custody. Cologne says the man shot and killed was her 37 year old brother who was the father of two young children, but police are not confirming his identity. The other suspect involved has been identified as 34 year old Ricardo Caban. He was not harmed. Police say when the undercover detectives confronted the men, Caban dropped his gun and followed orders to hit the ground. But the other man did not, forcing Detective Hall to fire his weapon at him and kill him. Just steps from the scene, a memorial has been set up for Cologne's brother. Words spray painted on a utility box read R.I.P. Sabor. The name family and friends say they knew him by.